G'day guys, it is Jeb Gross here from Adelaide RV and today I have come in to run you through one of my favourite little vans inside of the entire dealership and that is a Goldstream RV 1800 East West Bed bunk van. So it is a compact little single axle off-road caravan. We do also build it through an on-road and semi-off-road range, but the one I'm showing you here is a little bit more beefed up today. It has a shower and toilet, it has a double bunk, it has a big bed at the front. And I personally, if you've been following our Instagram and our social media, I personally had one of these towing it with Cassie's Jeep. We've done some amazing trips around the South Australian coastline with this, not this exact caravan, but this exact layout. Come inside, I'll show you why I love this little van. Guys, we're now here inside of this Goldstream 18 foot caravan, pop top caravan, in fact. And one thing I'd just like to mention before we get through and start showing you through some features and benefits inside of this beautiful Goldstream pop top is that if you have been inside of the caravan industry for a while or been researching for a while, chances are you've heard the name Goldstream RV. Goldstream are built in Pakenham down in Victoria. They are going into their 30th year in caravan manufacturing, which is absolutely amazing inside of this industry. They have been known as one of the best quality built caravans for generations and generations. We find when people come into the dealership, they know a Goldstream or they've had someone with a Goldstream, and once you buy a Goldstream, you never go back. We find that people come through with our wind up campers, our Goldstream Storm or our Goldstream Crown, and what they'll do is they'll then get through life, through children, and then they'll want to buy a pop top, a little bit easy to set up. And then they may have the pop top for a few years and then they'll upgrade to the caravan. One of the things I love about Goldstream RV is they offer the entire suite, right the way from your camper trailer, up into your pop top, and then into your full caravan. They're Australian made. The guys there are absolutely amazing. Sean is a very good mate of mine. And it, that's one of the things I love as well, the fact that these guys are so down to earth you can talk exactly to the person that is building the caravan, but uh, if you haven't heard of Goldstream RV, after this video, you'll be searching them up for sure, but a really strong Australian-made off-road caravan manufacturer. Let's show you why. Alrighty, so what I've done is I've just lowered down the roof into the closed position on this Goldstream pop top. So for those that aren't familiar with a pop top, what a pop top does is just the top section of the ceiling and the roof actually extends up. So it extends up around about 400 mil. So the idea is so we can get a caravan in underneath your garage or into a storage area. And also it's more aerodynamic, okay? So we haven't got such a big high caravan up behind the back of our car, catching the wind, catching the drag, but then also storage as well. We find a lot of people's garages, you know, can't quite fit a big full-size caravan, and hence why we build the pop-top range. But what I've done is I've just lowered that top down, and I'm going to show you now how we set that up and exactly how we then come into the caravan before we, uh, we start enjoying all the benefits of this beautiful van. Okay, so as we can see, the caravan is now in its down position. Now, this is how you're going to be towing the van and storing the van. But when you get to your destination, you get to your free camp spot or your caravan park, the first thing you need to do before you start getting ready to pop the top up is unlocking these safety clips here. Now on all four corners, you have what we call a pop top clamp. All right, so these pop top roof clamps are on all four corners. I've just put two down for the example today, but I'm just going to show you, we need to loosen these off before we can push it up. So if you're tall enough, you can just kind of flick it down. If not, grab your little step and use that to get up there. I'm just gonna stand on my tippy toes today and just pull that lever down, all right, like so. We then go to the back of the caravan and we do exactly the same thing. So we're gonna get you up a little closer here now. We lift that lever down and bring it down like so. So as you can see, I'm standing up on the little, uh, little step that comes with the van here. So again, if you can't quite reach the clamp, jump up on the step before you get your clamp. But whilst I'm up here, I'm just gonna show you one more very important thing that a lot of people forget when they're setting up a pop top, and that is our rollout awning. So what we wanna be doing is we wanna be flicking our rollout awning into the down position, because when we push the roof up, the rollout awning is gonna be stuck to the top of the roof. So we need to make sure that we free the rollout awning so that can come up and you'll see exactly what I mean in a moment. Alrighty, so you've seen me flick the rollout awning into the roll down position. 
You can pop the roof up once it is in that position, but I just thought I'd take the opportunity just to show you a little hack that I use when we had this exact caravan out on the road, just to make it a little bit easier to push the roof up. You may not have seen this before, but what you can do is you can loosen the rollout awning and you can roll it out around about a foot. Now that's about the same distance the roof is gonna push up and it just makes it that much easier to then push the roof up on the inside. I'll show you what I mean now. Okay, so what I've done is I've loosened that arm off here. So I've loosened the black locking knob and I've loosened it as if we're gonna roll the rollout awning out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull back on the arm. All right, as you can see, our little straps dropped out there. And I'm just gonna pull that out the same distance as what we're gonna push the pop top roof up. It'll make it that much easier to push up. Okay, now we can pop inside to our easy lift bars. We have one at either end of the van. Now that just helps push it up. Now with any pop top caravan, we need to push up the first 50 mil to actually before the gas trucks will take over. And then in reverse, when we're putting it down, we need to pull down the first 50 mil before the gas trucks will take over. Let's jump inside, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so don't forget to duck your head, all right, if you're over six foot like I am in here. But this is what we call our easy lift bar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be pushing up on this handle to help pop the pop top roof up, all right? So simply go up there like so. And as we can see, our pop top has lifted up. We do the same at the opposite end. Okay, so I just put, I just jump up on the bed, I put a knee on the bed, I put my forearm up on the ceiling and I just lift the, push him up and the gas trucks take over. Once we're up at this stage, we can just lock out the easy lift bars. Okay team, so what we can see here is the importance of pulling this rollout awning, putting it into the down position and then bringing it forward. Not only did it make it much easier for the roof to go up and to take over without any resistance from the awning, but we can see up here the vinyl is actually attached to the top of the pop top roof. So that is why we wanna make sure that we engage the rollout awning first. It's one of the most commonly mistaken items when people go to set their pop top caravan up for the first time is they forget to flick this into the roll down position. So make sure you make a note of that in your setup and pack down instructions before you go on your next holiday. Alrighty team, so that is the most important thing done. You have now successfully put your pop top roof up and you're inside your caravan and you're about to enjoy exactly what this Goldstream RV has to offer. So now I'm gonna run you through just the features inside of this particular 1800 East West bed bunk van. Okay, so as we can see, we have a queen bed at the front running east west, which is across the van. We have a double bunk down here at the rear of the caravan, as well as a shower and a toilet. So typically in a family van, they're normally, you know, anywhere from 19 and a half feet on a tandem axle all the way up to 22 foot. All right, but that is a big caravan. So why this is so popular, especially with a lot of younger families, is its compact nature. It's low height, low towing height, easy to store, single axle and only 18 feet long, but has all of the creature comforts that you could expect inside of a touring caravan. First of all, we have our shower and our toilet, okay? So a com this is what we call a combined shower and toilet. So we have our shower head and the toilet in the one cubicle. It is a full fiberglass mold. Given the fact that it is a pop top, we do have our vinyl pop top section here. But what we've done is instead of just leaving it open, we have actually put it on a zip, which means that it can unvelcro. If I can find the uh, little tab, pulls off like so. And then that rolls down, okay? So when we're obviously a family or you know, you're potentially getting into your teenage years and you want a, a little bit more privacy inside of the shower cubicle, bring that down, close the door over, and exactly like an ensuite inside of a caravan that you can close yourself in, that is now fully closed in. Uh, it has a, um, a screen at the front here that you cannot see through, uh, so you obviously have the full privacy there inside of that, whether you're using it for the toilet or for the shower. Okay, so I'm here inside of our combined shower toilet. Now, as you can see, there still is plenty of room. The way we've actually set the toilet back means that there's a lot of room for you to be able to shower in here comfortably and then still be able to move around, get around inside of this combined shower toilet. It really maximizes the space inside of this small compact caravan. But firstly, if we're gonna have this zip down, we don't want the humidity and the mist and whatnot obviously building up inside of here. So we have put a little hatch in the ceiling. Okay, so that will simply wind up. And also they have built an 
an extraction fan in there as well. So that will help draw up the hot air and get it outside of the caravan. Okay, so I'm down here nice and close and personal to the Thunderbox. Now, the differences with this particular toilet is instead of the lever being on the bottom of the bowl of the toilet, it's actually positioned up here at the top. Okay, so as you can see, when we pull that lever, it comes across and opens up the chute. We slide the lever back across and the chute will close. There is a blue button which we can press to actually flush the unit, okay? And that is hooked up to our pump, or if we're plugged in the mains pressure, it will be pulling off the mains pressure. Now, when the cassette is full, there's a little indicator light here, which will illuminate to tell you that it's time to empty that toilet cassette. Okay, so while I'm down the back, I'm just gonna open up this back cupboard, okay? So plenty of storage space, even though we're in that limited height and limited size. So we put a double wardrobe at the back that has hanging space in there as well. We do option shelves. So if you prefer shelves, we can option in shelves in here, but as a standard feature, you get your hanging space. Now, once they are like so, you can see we also have two big drawers at the bottom here as well, with that bottom drawer being the biggest of the two. Okay, so now I'm up off the bunks. I'm just gonna show you in underneath the bunks. So if we lift up the mattress, we then have a beautiful big storage area under here. Two large compartments. Now what we do is we actually put the air conditioner underneath one of these. Now what that does gets it off the roof. Two reasons that that is good. It makes the, it takes the weight off the, off the roof of the caravan. It makes it uh, easier to push the pop top roof up, but then it also makes the overall towing height that bit lower. So you don't have to have the air conditioner unit sitting up on top of the roof taking that extra 300 mil of overall height, meaning we have more of a chance of getting it inside of those tight little garages. Okay, so that's our bottom bunk done, storage underneath and our obviously full size length. One thing to point out is we actually build the ladder in, okay? So a lot of our competition will put a external portable ladder, aluminium or a plastic ladder, we actually build it in. And with our CNC machine at the factory in Pakenham, we actually cut out these steps all right that's why so why is that important you ask if your kids are a little bit rougher or they're having a bit too much fun and they're running around they're running amok less chance they're going to break it because this is a solid ladder which is actually inbuilt just going with the with the overall theme of goldstream which is tough it's strong it's durable up the back of our goldstream pop top 1800 we have a double power point okay these are double pole of course being inside of a caravan but this is a double power point and each of our bunks come with our own reading light that also have a USB charger in the bottom of the reading light as well. Now, a lot of people think when they pick a pop top caravan as their caravan of choice that they have to go without some of the creature comforts that may come inside of a full size caravan. At Goldstream RV, we've tried really, really hard to ensure that you don't miss out on anything. And the fridge here is no exception. So even though we are in a low towing van, meaning the top is gonna to come down, we still have a big elevated two door fridge. So this fridge is a Thetford fridge. It is three way. It has the large freezer there at the top and also has the large refrigerator with the crisper down the bottom. Okay, inside of here as well, we also have our uh, CD, DVD, USB, Bluetooth, all the rest of that cool stuff inside of our unit here. And we have rooftop speakers, two at the front, two at the rear. To the left-hand side of that, this little baby here is the heart of the caravan. So this is from our friends at BM Pro. Okay, you've probably heard of BM Pro if you've been researching our industry for a while. BM Pro build this, they call it a Trek monitor. Okay, so it's their battery management system by BM Pro. This is Trek monitor number three. It's a th obviously the third version of the Trek monitor as they continue to put more features inside of this all-in-one battery management system. So when I say that, what I mean is this will give us exactly what is inside of the batteries. So what the solar panel is putting into the batteries, what our current draw out of the batteries is, uh, what is in our water tank, okay? So depending on whether that is our fresh water tank number one, fresh water tank number two, or our gray water tank, and then it will also tell us exactly how many, or well not exactly, but 
uh, roughly how many hours are left, okay? So if you're in a free camping um, situation and, uh, and you wanna know, okay, how long can I stay here for based off of what we're pulling at any time as far as the, uh, the draw and the amperage that we're pulling out of the batteries, this will tell us, it's currently telling us we have 151 hours left as we sit here just drawing the lights and the radio and a few little appliances. So we're up nice and personal to the BM Pro Trek monitor here. And one thing I'd like to point out is just our master switch. So this little indicator here, which looks like a battery at the very top right hand side of the monitor. If we press that in, that will all of a sudden power up the entire caravan as it is a master switch. So we press that one. As we can see, everything has just lit up like a Christmas tree. Okay, so the other thing to point out on side of this monitor as well is this also controls our water pump. So the bottom here on the right hand side that looks like a water droplet, if I press that, that will kick our pump into gear. And on the opposite left hand side, you'll see pump one, pump two. It'll, it'll obviously indicate pump one will go on and you'll be able to then draw your water out of the water tanks. Keep in mind this van is on display, so you're unable to, we haven't got any water in the water tank, so nothing's gonna come out. But if we do this for an example, so we press that button, we can see here the pump has gone on. Again, sticking with all the creature comforts of home and not having to miss out on anything, we have also fitted a wine guard TV antenna to the top of this caravan as well. So like any wine guard, we've displayed and demonstrated a few of them now. You'll simply wind up, all right? This is already up, so it's currently coming down, but I'll put it down for demonstration purposes. We'll hear it tap on the roof. Once it's down, we then go back the other way following the indicators on the actual handle here. It will wind all the way up until we can't wind anymore. So that's about it. There's some resistance on it there. What we can then do is pull the outer handle out and rotate that around, okay? We'll see on the front here, this little arrow, this indicates exactly what direction our antenna is facing, okay? Before we wind it down though, again, I've mentioned this a few times, make sure that the two arrows are paired up and joined um, so we ensure that when we wind the antenna down, it lays flat on the roof and doesn't wind off the side of your van, okay? Okay, so on the end of our fridge cabinet here, this little control is our hot water system. Now what we're fitting in a lot of our Goldstream RV pop tops and caravans now is an instantaneous hot water. What that means is we're gonna be having instant hot water like you do in your home to any tap and we don't have to wait for the tank to warm up. Now again, this is a display unit so I haven't got this turned on and I don't have water in the tank but you can get the gist of what I'm saying here. So we have a simple on off button. We have a simple temperature up and temperature down. This one here is just more of a menu and to change it from Celsius or Fahrenheit. But basically what you need to, to do is select via up and down how hot you want the water, okay? So uh, for me, I put that up around the 51, 52 degree mark and then we simply turn it on and that will generate from the gas, okay? It will light the unit. It will bring it up to temperature keep the lines nice and hot. So any moment you flick the tap in the shower or at the sink, we have that nice hot water straight away. Now, when we're trying to save water as well, and we're free camping, that is super, super handy. I put this feature in the van when we built an 1800 for Cassie and I to take away. And what I found is that when we were over at Streaky Bay on Paluby Beach, it was so handy because we only had limited water. We're only showering, you know, every second day, we're jumping in the beach you know, in between to try and conserve the water as we're there for seven to 10 days. We we're finding we weren't wasting water by having instant hot. What I mean by that, we're not standing there with the cold running out and water just draining out the drain. The moment we flicked the tap over to hot, we had instant hot water straight away and it was an absolute game changer. I reckon it got us about another three to four days free camping that we wouldn't have already, well, wouldn't have gotten any other, way, any other way. So make sure when you come in, you chat to our team when looking at a gold stream around the instantaneous hot water system. Awesome guys, so here we are at our Thetford cooker. Now what we're doing, here is we're putting a four gas cooktop. We're also putting a little mini grill in underneath. Now, we also put a microwave in here as a standard as well. Some people choose to do away with the microwave if they're gonna do more free camping. I find it quite handy to be there if you are in caravan parks as well. So this one here is a microwave from our good friends at NCE. And this one here is our four burner grill uh, and cooktop by Thetford. We have our lid that goes down as well into place and just gives us that nice streamlined feel. 
Okay, so up on the bench top here as well, we have a indoor sink, all right? So for our dishes inside, just our normal stainless steel sink with a flick, uh, flick mixer tap. Underneath here, we can see we have storage underneath the sink, a really good storage space. I'm gonna get you up close and personal to some fittings under there in a moment where we can isolate our water tanks. But for here, you see our drawers as well. They are a full solid drawer. They are on a smooth runner, okay? So it comes out. Uh, yeah, I absolutely love the finish of these Goldstream vans. You pull the handle out, it's just so smooth. Yeah, everything is built tough, it's built strong, it's durable, but it's, uh, it's super, super classy. The bottom one is generally a flap. It'll surprise me, let's see if I'm right. No, it's a drawer, there you go. They've done well. A lot of times you can't actually fit a drawer in the bottom, but they've been able to do it here. Okay, so we have a number four drawer down the bottom there as well. Okay, so as promised, I'm down here close and personal with these two blue fittings, which are in underneath the cupboard under your sink. Now what these are, is these are uh, water tank isolators. So inside of this particular pop top from Goldstream, we have two water tanks, all right? Now, what I was doing when we were traveling in this is I was always isolating one tank. So when I ran out of water, I knew I still had another tank full, okay? So it's an absolute ripper idea from Sean and the team at Goldstream. You can simply rotate that around like so, and that will isolate one of the water tanks, all right? And then once we hit our pump, we're only drawing out of one. You can also mark these, so work out what one's what. They have individual fillers as well. So if you wanted to fill one with, say, let's say good quality rainwater for drinking water, and the other one's just normal tap water, you can isolate the two, Make sure you flush the lines out, of course, before you get to that level, but if you want to put different quality water in each tank, you can do that as well. Um, but uh, absolute great, or ripper idea from Goldstream. So when we turn it down, we're going across the line. Okay, so that is off. When we're across the line, we're off. When we go back up, we're running with the line. Okay, you can see it running with the line. That is on, all right? So when we go like so, we're isolating that tank. We're turning it off. When we go like so, we're turning that back on and you obviously have one of them each side. Alrighty, so here we are over on the door side of your caravan or the awning side of your caravan, and we have a beautiful L-shaped dinette. And this is our lounge, this is our inside seating inside of this 18 foot pop top. I'm gonna to show you up, we've done everything down low, I'm gonna show you up high now. This beautiful classy finish, what we're, how we achieve that is we actually conceal the handles, which is really cool. So basically underneath the center, of any of our overhead cupboards, there's a little latch, we can pull back on that and that will lift straight up. So we can see that latch here, all right? It is a concealed or a hidden latch, but the beauty of that is it gives us this nice streamlined feel throughout the overhead cupboards of the caravan without having the big clunky handle in the middle, but we just aim for the center, pull back, and we open up there like so. Okay, now with our L-shaped dinette, we also have what we call a click-clack table. So it will click and it will clack. I don't know why they call it that, but they do. It goes in and out both ways, okay? So we can see when we're trying to get through here, through the thoroughfare, we wanna tuck the table right in, but when we are dining and whining and dining, let's throw that out like so. It gives you more room to be able to get the entire family in around our seat. Okay, so inside of your pop top, you're going to have four large windows. You have one in each of the bunks down the back of the caravan. We have one here at the behind of the dinette, and we also have one inside the uh, kitchen there as well. These are again a product from NCE, Paul and our good friends there. We can see we wind that up and we have a complete block out blind. We bring that back down, we have our fly screen blind. We separate the two and we can now get to our handles to open up our window, simply to open all four there, and then we're just gonna be pushing our window out, two hands, and we just have a little lock lever there. Okay, so we're down the front of your caravan here now, and we can see we have our east-west bed. Now, what I think they've done exceptionally well at Goldstream, which does set them apart from other companies building an east-west bed, is they've still been able to get your wardrobe in. So I'm just gonna slide this TV off of the bracket, just for demonstration purposes here, and we can see what we can do is a lot of times when people hear the word east-west bed, they think, oh no, I've got to climb over my partner to be able to get up and potentially go to the toilet at night or see the kids or whatever that may look like for you. But what we've done is we've actually created this little walkthrough here 
We've also been able to give you some more hanging space in the way of a full robe at the end of the bed. We've been able to put somewhere to put our Sirocco fan to keep you cool at night, but also you can now jump in and out of bed with potentially not bothering your partner on the other side because we're not having to jump over. We can come to the end of the bed uh, and then climb in like so. So I was showing you earlier with the wine guard TV antenna on the top of the roof. This little section here is the other half of that. So we have a 12 volt socket here because all of our televisions are 12 volt, meaning you can use them off grid. That will plug in to the 12 volt socket. Your antenna cable will come from the back of the television and screw onto this point here. Now this little black button, that is a booster, okay? So if you're in areas which you haven't got very good TV reception, you can wind the TV antenna up, try and adjust it as best you can, press that little black button in and that will boost our, uh, our signal to the TV and the TV antenna. Alongside of that, we have our typical power point. So if we do have a generator that we're running or if we're inside of a caravan park, we can put the TV on the 240 volt source because the TVs that come inside of this range have got 12 volt and 240 volt capabilities. Underneath that, we have our TV bracket, which you've seen me pull the TV off earlier. I have the TV just here on the bed we can see on the back of the television there, all right, we have that little point. So that is going to slide into this little baby here. Bring it over to the side so you can get a better shot. In like so. Okay, before I show you some of the features on the outside of our 1800 Pop Top by Goldstrom RV, I just thought it was an important point to mention. A lot of times people will accidentally pull the roof down when they still have stuff above their overhead cupboards. Okay, so inside of the small van, we don't have a heap of bench space, but what we do have is the top of all these cupboards. So when we get to our destination, we can pull things out and chuck them up the top. Of course, you're not necessarily gonna have your wine glasses up the top. I've just done this for demonstration purposes, but please, before you pack down and leave the campsite, we make sure that we don't have anything sitting up on top of these cupboards. So we wanna be making sure that these sorts of things come down underneath the height of the top of the overhead cupboards, if that makes sense. Nothing can be up in this height as the roof's going to come down. And as you can imagine, if we have this uh, little fake plant sitting here, roof's gonna come down and potentially damage as the ceiling hits on the top of this plant. Okay, so as we mentioned earlier when I was showing you the storage underneath the bed, we had our air conditioning unit in underneath this bunk bed or the bottom bunk, saving it from being on top of the roof. What this is, is this is our control panel for the reverse cycle air conditioning. So it is heating and it is cooling. Okay, and what we can do is we can, I haven't got power plugged in, but we turn him on. We have our mode setting like any reverse cycle air conditioner. So whether that be heat, cool, dry, fan, you get the gist. And then we have our temperature up, temperature down, and our fan speed, okay? So that is all controlled here on the opposite side of our fridge panel above the top bunk, but it is also remote control. So you can be sitting inside the bed and you can be adjusting that with the remote control as well that does come with this unit. Okay, so down the bottom of the bunk is where our uh, airflow vents for the air conditioner will come out from. So as we can see, we have three vents here at the bottom and the air will push out from the air conditioner unit in underneath the bed and then cool the unit, okay? There is more than enough capability for this air conditioner unit to be able to heat this pop top and also cool this pop top, being the fact that we are just a small 18 foot in actual landscape inside of this caravan. If we wanna block the vents off, simply just put them up like so, okay? Or if we open them up, we can then swivel these vents around, okay, whatever direction it is that you choose. Okay, so starting here at the door of our caravan, it is a Kamek three locking door. Okay, so we have our remote latches top and bottom and our main lock in the middle. Now this does have a screen to it as well. Okay, so we simply lift this handle up and we can close that over as a screen door. If we wanna bring them back together. We simply open that and then squeeze both the doors. We want to close him up fully. That closes up like so. Now with our Goldstream range, we have plenty of different packages. So what we always recommend 
to our clients is that you come to us and tell us exactly where you want to go and what your needs are, exactly where you're wanting to take the caravan and we will tell you and uh, help you uh, pick the best package. The one we've been in is in a, what we call an adventure pack. We also build it in an off-road pack and then we build it in a panther pack. So we start off from our touring van, we go from our touring van, adventure pack, off-road pack, and then our uh, Panther, which is the top of our range. This particular one is an adventure pack and we put a few features on it as well. So the items I'm showing you now aren't necessarily standard items. So please reach out to our sales team and have a chat to them and they can walk, walk you through exactly what is and isn't standard based on your needs so we can custom build for you. Okay, so here we have a very large toolbox which has been fitted on the front of this van. So we simply open up like so. We have an opening on both sides. That will go up and you have so much room inside of this, it's not funny. Okay, and coming around from our toolbox, you'll see we also have our full through tunnel boot. All right, so that goes right the way through on both sides of the caravan. So as I mentioned inside, when we were looking at isolating our water tanks, we have two separate fillers. So this is the filler for our front water tank and down the back, we have a separate filler for our rear water tank. But basically that comes out like so. We put our hose in there and we fill the front water tank. The one underneath it, this one here is for our mains pressure. So when we're into a hose or something, a tap at a caravan park, we can then come in and we have a little fitting that we provide with the caravan, which screws in here, snap our snap-on fitting on, and then we pressurize the unit with mains water. And just behind the axle, we have our filler for our rear water tank. Okay, so same deal, press in and rotate. That will lock it up, in, rotate, anti-clockwise, and that opens up. Okay, so this is our mains power inlet. All right, so we open that one up, and this is where our 15 amp power inlet goes. So if we're bringing 240 volt power point from an external source, be that a generator or the powered side inside of your caravan park or a 15 amp plug inside of your home, the other end of that is powering in and then providing 240 volt power to the entire caravan from this unit. In underneath here is our circuit breaker. Okay, so we open that up and we see we have our circuit breaker. So if you lose power, but we still have power at the core, chances are this here has tripped out. Okay, so we're here around the back of the caravan. I'll tell you what, it's quite nice. The sun's actually shining around here, but we don't have much at the back besides our bumper bar, our spare wheel, which is a full spare wheel. Comes with one of the best tire covers that you'll see around the country. And then we also have our Safety Dave reversing camera uh, fitted up to this Goldstream pop top as well. So here we are back around the door side of the caravan and we'll just finish off with a few more features on so, uh, that, I'll, that I'll have here on the outside of this Goldstream pop top. So starting off here, we have our USB fittings under here, our 12 volt socket under here, and also a section here where we can plug an outside TV in. Now this is wired in through a coaxial cable back to our WineGuard TV antenna that I was showing you on the inside of the caravan earlier. So if you do want to bring your TV out and sit it on side of this great big picnic table here, you can do that. So this one here on the side, I don't have the keys on me, but if I did have the keys on me, we would unlock that and then that will fold down as a picnic table on the outside. And just alongside of here as well, this is uh, another outside power point. So fully waterproof, external 240 volt power point here on the outside. Okay, so we cast our eyes up uh, to the body of the caravan here. We have two marine speakers, all right? So again, from our good friends at NCE, we have a marine speaker here and another one here. So with our inside CD player, we can actually tune inside outside speakers to bring the music to life on the outside of your caravan when you're out here camping. We have a nice big LED bar light on the side as well to obviously provide light externally on this side of the van. Being the fact that we do put this particular caravan on the biggest 16 inch wheels with the independent suspension means that we are a little higher off the ground. So what we do is we fit a double step. All right, so same deal with any of the other steps. We simply take a bit of weight and we push in to lock that away. When we want to pull the step out, we're simply coming out like so. Okay, so I'm down here. Now this is our gas bayonet fitting. So plumbed up to our two nine kilo gas bottles on the front of the A-frame of the caravan, we had this bayonet fitting. So if you want to plug a barbecue or something into here, we can do that. Now please keep in mind the current regulations around the Weber barbecues and exactly how we can plumb them up to the van. You need to make sure that we are far enough away if you are looking at using a Weber 
prefer to put them direct to the gas bottles, but any other sort of barbecue we can that have, does have the flame failure, we can plug that straight into our gas bayonet fitting here on the side of the van. Okay, we're back around this side. I showed you on the opposite side as well. This is the other side of the tunnel boot. So we have the same size access on both sides of the van. So it goes the entire way through. So not only do we have the big box on the front of the caravan, we also have the tunnel boot as well. So there is a heap of storage for such a small, compact little caravan. What they've also done, which is a really nifty feature when you're pulling up late at night, is they've put another LED strip light or bar light up above the boot. So we can switch that on. They're all individually switched inside the caravan. We can switch that light on and put a nice bright light over our tunnel boot when we're looking for our bits and pieces late at night. Okay, so again, as I mentioned, this is our adventure pack. Okay, so this is basically our semi off-road range. All right, is the easiest way to describe the way that we do our packages at Goldstream RV. But what you do get still with this 18 foot adventure pack is you still get your big 16 inch wheels, okay? So they're a mud tire. You can see they're a good ride, radial mud tire, 16 inch. They are a Land Cruiser six stud pattern uh, in, in our hub. And because they're a single axle and we need to get the weight rating, we put 12 inch brakes and 12 inch hub drums on here as a standard feature. It's running Alco independent suspension. All right, now as we go up through the models, we then go into more of our Cruise Master, which again, probably is our more popular suspension on our Goldstream range. Going up into our Cruise Master XT, we also do airbag options as well. So again, come and chat to your sales team here at Adelaide RV and work out exactly what is right for you based on where you wanna travel in this great country. Okay team, so there you have it. That is a run through product demonstration on our Goldstream RV 1800 East West Bed bunk van shower toilet. This is an adventure pack model we've been running through today, but please come out and have a look at our entire range of pop top caravans built by Goldstream RV, all Australian made, built in Pakenham, which is down in Victoria. They use all Australian componentry, Australian chassis, they're Australian manufactured, been around for 30 plus years manufacturing caravans inside of Australia. One of the best. We do them all the way from our little 15, 14, 15 foot pop tops all the way up to our 18 foot six and everything in between. So if you're in the market for something small, low height, easy to tow, come and check out our range of Goldstream RVs here at Adelaide RV.